Hi guys, welcome back to Elden Ring. So, in the last episode you have seen, um, we went all the way up to Leonie of the Lakes, following on from Stormbell Castle, and we found the Academy, and we've gathered uh, some Lost Grace sites so that we can easily travel around the swamp. Um, we will do some exploration of the swamp, and today I kind of want to focus on the bits down here, where we have yet to sort of finish exploring this first area as a well. whole. We've done everything else up here. We've been over to the islands for the Church of Dragon Communion. But now I feel it's time to investigate the rest of this. We'll start off because we, we touched this statue, which points towards uh, the catacombs site. And uh, we'll just, we'll see how we go from there. I hope everyone's having fun playing Elden Ring, if you are playing it yourself. Oh, big drop. What the hell is that? Don't know. Don't know. Not a clue. See, I just get the vibes from this of when you go up the uh, hill for the first time to get to the storm hill. <laughs> the giant jump stain. <laughs> And at the time, I was stupid and did not realise that you could ride torrent, because I forgot. And that was realistically what they were hinting that you should be doing. Um, you can see from our stats, our health bar is shorter than our stamina bar still. Um, I think it's very important to get these stats off, particularly if you're fighting enemies with pretty heavy hits. Um, yeah. Right, let's go on torrent. <clears throat> uh, nobody. Forgot, I should probably have the raising one to feed him. Normally, you die, little buddy. Poison blooms. Oh, hello, boys. Oh, they like the little spiky slimes from the previous Dark Souls games. Man, you things are annoying. Human bone shards. I suppose you can farm them at least. Oh uh, yes, all the gravestones and things. Yeah, get that torch on there. Expected. I imagine there's some items on some of those gravestones that are hanging off the edges. We'll have to have a look. The Murkwater Catacombs. Right, let's rest, get the flasks back. We used one. I've still not put on an Ash of War or anything yet. So, I've not really felt like I need to do it yet, and I get the feeling they're one-off uses, unless you have maybe an item or you farm them again maybe or something like that. Oh, you guys in statue boys. I don't trust anything. I also don't trust that that's a square there because it's going to be a trap or something. Ow. Please, man. You boys are moving wild, you know. 
There we go, get that crit in here. Great item, really highly recommend getting it. Forked hatchet. Well, that's the weapon. Locked by some contraption. Let's see. Is this a trap? It is. <laughs> I know what you're about, game. I know what you're about. And it's another trap. I really do with you boys running at me, because if you run and hit the trap. Come on. Keep running. You're not going to keep running at me, are you? What if I do this? <laughs> this will be for the door. Probably for me. There's a lot of dead people here because, you know. Clearly they don't expect to get ambushed. How naive. How beautifully naive. It's a classic to have something just waiting around the corner so that when you go around you get slapped. Very short catacomb is this one. Let's see what we've got in store. Oh, big hammer boy. Yeah, you can't hack it. So he changed the tags very well with those hands. Surprisingly, they don't do that much to your stamina, though. I would have expected more. We've got war cry. The wolves on this are insane. They really set you up for uh, good cover. Come at me. Battle hammer. Interesting. Oh, well, I can't use it. It's 26 strength, but... C strength scaling. I mean, that's just a big war hammer. Is that just a one war hammer? Braggot's raw compared to barbaric raw. Okay, your presence over both for it. His attack, defense, and stamina. Okay, so the Barbaric Rule does just strong attacks become savage combos now. It increases your attack power, but this does attack, defense, and stamina recovery speed. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's just the one. Doesn't, it's not very big. It doesn't have a long reach. Fair enough. I mean, we're still using just our sword we got at the start. <laughs> oh yeah, I was meant to put on a new shield because it's better than my current. And having a higher guard boost, it will stop things from breaking through as much. It also matches that great shield. No, it's better than that great shield. And guard boost. Nice. It does get rid of parry though. Because what you've got originally as the confessor is just a very small shield. Well, it's a medium shield. But this is a medium shield as well, but you can tell size-wise it's designed more for parry and gravel and guarding. But it's kind of like middle ground between the two. Nice. Right, well, that was easy. I do appreciate these little fights though that they've got later around. I, they're kind of like... Look, as example, like the Assassin's Dagger we've got as a talisman, where if you land a critical, you heal. That's incredibly useful. Like, you, no one's going to have a problem with that. 
if you get it, absolutely use it. Because when you're low on Estus Flask, if, if you manage to get a crit on an enemy, you, you failed yourself. Like, you, you don't have to waste flasks or anything. Just riding through here. Hello, Mr. Jellyfish. We are friendly, so that's fine. What are the messages? Seek friend. Be wary of someone. Okay, we're just riding down the river, that's fine. Kind of the direction we want to go anyway. Friendship ahead. Bloody finger, Nerejus. Okay. Hello there, my friend. Onto Yora. Oh, he's a friend. Go on, fella. so overwhelming when you, uh, if you're ever playing and you get invaded by like one guy, it feels like a lot to deal with sometimes, especially if they seem to have like a really good weapon or something, but like when you come across someone else that you can summon on your side, like it, it's a bit, a bit brutal. You can overwhelm them very easily. Well, bloody finger never just, I'm not ready to be Bloody finger hunter Yura came to our rescue. What a boy. Let me get back on top of him. Oh, that's interesting. Praise the fingers. Okay. Murkwater cave. A cave and the catacombs, both at my fault, sorry. Well, it's not entirely unexpected, I guess. Interesting that they, they set you up for kind of like a themed encounter of like, if you summon a player to help you and have someone invade you, about how like this, the dynamic would work. Like, you can summon a friend to make sure that you're fine. And if you don't want to, playing an online game in this form, you uh, you may get invaded by someone and they could be a problem. I think we probably could have killed him ourselves because he was just using a dagger, but yeah. So we do via the dagger. It's got arcane. Cause the blood loss build up. It's not as high on the crit as a dagger. Reduvia blood blade unique skill. Slash with a wicked dagger, transforming its never drying blood stains into airborne blood blades that cause hemorrhaging and be fired in rapid succession. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is the thing that interests me unblockable blade. Imbue the cipher blade with light, then lunge forward with a sudden piercing attack. This attack cannot be blocked. Like, it sounds insane. It requires 30 faith to use it, and it only does holy damage. It's a fist with the slash and pierce, but it's an unblockable blade. It's like, it sounds to me like a, a blade of like light, almost. I mean, we're not going to be able to see it because we can't use it, though, can we? Oh, no, you can. Okay, yeah, it is a, it is a fist, but it's like a little blade of writing on, on your hand. Oh, damn!
Jeez. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I'd use it though. The temptation is there to use it to see if it's good, but like I'd have to get 30 faith, which is that's a lot of faith investment. And at this stage, we're not close to really doing that. Summoning pool is now functional. They put chains on the ground so they can hear you. Good try. I rate it. See why so many people die? Because you get overwhelmed if you just step out and keep going. I say it's just a chest at the end. Interesting. Mushroom. Mushroom. Uh, I want to go home. Nice. I can't take this. That's right, boys. You did all that for some mushroom. Now we can go through here. Oh, okay. I missed that. Yeah. So we came down, and I've assumed like, oh, yeah, that's the only way. I didn't even look here. Lovable soul to have. Good, I guess. Friend ahead, in short, no friend ahead. <laughs> Aha, seems familiar, therefore try friendship. Well no, we don't we don't do friendship, I guess. Uh, wait a minute. What? Where's the lovable sword? Be wary of Dastav, but behold treasure chest. Trap ahead. Didn't expect traitor. Hmm. Patches. <laughs> Patches by Andrew. What a boy. He's never he's never not in a, a Souls game, generally speaking. He's not gonna be in Sekiro or whatever, but <laughs> forgive and forget. He'll betray you again at some point in the game, I guess. Next 
Don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal. So does that mean he's going to be living in this cave if you want to trade with him? Because typically in the games you forgive him, then he tries to betray you again, then you forgive him again. And at some point eventually he does stop being a complete jackass. That's intriguing though. Does he actually stay in this cave? Treasure chest here. Well, nice of you to talk a bit, Ad Hoc. But welcome, but you won't need a reason. Yeah, I had those bandits make a clean break. Now they're all suppliers. A good ones are that. I mean, they don't understand a word I'm saying. But it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> they're all foot soldiers. Survivors of a defeated army. Worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord, only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <sighs> to hell with it all. Hmm. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Well, it's a... <sighs> nothing too special. Just something I'm saving as thanks for a very valuable customer. But then again, it would fetch some spectacular coin. And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. Huh? Everything is give and take. Give and take. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Found daggers. They're strength based consumable. With dexterity as an S. Ooh, so even better throwing daggers. Margit Shackle. Briefly finds Margit once imprisoned to her. What? <laughs> okay. Got a cookbook. We'll get that. Got a stone sword key, but it costs 5,000. Festering bloody finger allows you to invade someone. One off. Great arrows. Ballista bolts. Horse crest wooden shield. This armament has no skill. If the armament in the other hand has a skill, that will be used instead. Nice. Talisman fashioned from a dried twig, so slender that it might snap at the slightest touch. Prevents rune loss upon death. It will be lost itself in exchange. Huh. Interesting. Parrying dagger. Glass shard. Worthless rubbish. <laughs> Grace mimic. Light shows the path, but without order. We'll get Margit Shackle. The shackles used to bind the cursed people to called the Omen, and these ones were made to keep a particular omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power. Enough to trap the once bound Margit on Earth, if only for a short time. Huh. Okay. I'm guessing maybe that helps you in the boss fight with Margit, but obviously it doesn't matter for us now because we're already beyond it. Um, I mean, ideally we want that, but... Cheers for that. Thanks, Patches. There's almost a temptation in me to try and, like, um, open the chest if we can. See if he boots off again. Because if he does, just clock his cheeks on him. Try 
drop I have. Transporter drop. Yeah, patches up to his usual. Well, well, well. I should have known that, you skinny little thief. The gods demand vengeance. Vengeance! Good stuff. But where are we being transported? Hmm. What? On Earth? Hey, yo, I ain't trying to cop a fight with that. There's a map thing there, though. Jesus. Bloody patches. One big ass bear. Engraved East. There's a purple item next to him as well. I have a feeling he's going to absolutely ruin me. Warriors cookbook. All right, now let's get out of here. Oh, baby. Woo. Jeez. We're now in Limgrave East. This is all this and all the way over there. Hmm. Well, we want to do all of this first. So what I'm actually going to do going to leave here and we're going to go back to Patches and get that little scheming son of a bitch. Not entirely unsurprised that he's, you know, he traps you again and then I imagine if you go back again then he'll be like, oh, well, didn't expect you to come out of way though. And then he'll beg for forgiveness again and blah blah blah. So yes, let's um... Travel back to the Murkwater Cave if we can. You've been trapped, you can't travel until you rest at once. Ah, oh, you crafty little bastard. Oh. Well. Let's just follow the path, I think, in general. We'll probably come across one. Well, there's one down this river well, maybe. See off throughout River Well. I wonder what he'll give us next time. Hey yo, what the How deep is this going? Damn. Uh, what? Okay. Sure. This just goes extremely deep. There is a grace down here, though, by the looks of it. That's good. Oh my lord. See off for a river. Okay. Oh, great. It's got good. So we just underground, I guess. But we can travel back now. Coming back for your patches. You cheeky son of a bitch. Can 
Brickwater Cave. Surprised to see me again, fella. <laughs> you patches, you are a cheeky man. Very cheeky. Um, I'm intrigued by this. Cheers for that. Forgot something. No, no trouble to me. Cheers for that. Interesting. So nothing else for him to say apart from the fact that he was shocked we were alive and he's used to he's saying, oh, I'll take it as a learning experience. Right then. Back to exploration, I guess. We'll carry on following Diane. And we'll try and cover the swampy bit here and then we'll head to here, I guess. We do love good old patches though. What did that say? Oh. Cool. Dragon ahead. It's not moving ahead. Weak foe ahead. Praise the dog. Angel ahead. Good dog. I'm sorry, little turtle. I see. Because it's got no skill, it allows you to take the stance with the sword. And you can do something. And if you let it go, you just put your shield back on. That's pretty good. Rate that. Massively rate that. Dragon ahead. Wow, there's now a summoning pool. Is there actually a dragon down here? Because if there is, that's mild. I'm gonna get cleaned, but let's go for it. Yep, let's not go for it, let's run. No, thank you. Oh boy. So that'll be one of the ways you can get a dragon heart to take to the church of the dragon communion good stuff hmm. limgrave tunnel interesting so 
Kann man hin. Well, we're going to clean these guys up. I think still one. Ah, cool. Good way to get some materials to upgrade weapons. Is there going to be like a boss down here, or is this just going to be like a... Mining location to get some stuff. Oh, it goes deeper. Right. Well, unless that goes up, I guess. But I imagine it goes deeper. Like made of stone. Pro chip. Golden ring. Smithing stones in the walls? Guessing not. Let's go. Oh, there's a bit you could jump up. I don't remember that. Glintstone scrap. Upgrading magic weapons, I guess. Hey, bro, chill. Sneaky. now, haven't I? Yeah. Hmm. Can't jump up here. Oh dear. Looks like I have to take the plunge and die. God oh, damn. At last. Aha. Aha. And there we call it back then. So I was looking the wrong way. Jesus.
Didn't know the boy would blow up. Glintstone scrap. Cool that he had like a fire breathing technique using his lantern. You're gonna explode, aren't you? Boom. Are you ready? Probably not. something very big in here. Oh, hello. Stone digger troll. Oh no. Bad magic. Probably not ready for this, mate. It's safe on fire for this, I think. I would have been better if I still had my fire available, but that's fine. We did it. We good. I did it. Oh, I did it. Yes. Yes, you did. Well done. Nothing else to speak of in here, I don't think. Apart from this looks like a very shiny stone. Cool. Well, that was interesting. Has to be said. Um, well, all we've really done is cover this up to here. And we got teleported and went down to see off a river well. Um, yeah, but that will mark the end of this episode. So, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, guys. And uh, we'll continue the exploration next time. Take care.